I'm gonna show you how to create an airtight home. If you're really cost conscious or really concerned about keeping your house nice and warm, there's some really simple tips you can use to help prevent airflow out of the house, to save a few dollars, and to make sure you've got a nice, comfortable living area for your family. Some standard products you can use to fill gaps and cracks around the home are just general sealants, some expanding foams, or some draft excluding strips. Insulation is the first step into creating an airtight home, but drafts and air leakage are another big cause of heat loss that are often missed and can be an easy fix in the house. Over 40% of your heat is lost through the ceiling, so it's important to check that there's no flows going through. Some things as simple as light shades, vents, antennas, etc. A good way to identify gaps in your ceiling is to simply crawl into your roof space and try and identify any light you can see coming through from the floor. If you're seeing light through there, that means air will be getting through too, and there's a loss of heat coming through there. Other areas to consider that you may not have thought of are things like cat doors or dog doors. Any sort of vent that vents from inside to out, like things like your range hood, a dryer vent, a shower vent, they can lose a lot of air through them. There are simple brackets you can get inside these units that will prevent air flowing out when it's not being used. Chimneys can be a huge source of heat loss as well. If you're not actively using a fireplace, particularly an open one, it's important to seal up the inside. If you are using your fireplace irregularly, you can close the flue or there are dampeners you can buy that will minimise the amount of heat loss through them. Air conditioning units can surprisingly lose a lot of air as well, as they have penetrations through the building to get to the outside. It's always important to check that no air is being lost through here. There's some really innovative products now around doors and windows, like this one here. Not just the double glazing, but also the thermal break that goes around that. The thermal break means that the aluminium glass and the inside aluminium are completely separated, creating just another barrier for air movement. But at the end of the day, if you don't have new aluminium joinery like this, you've got old wooden stuff, you can still retrofit it with some easy foam like this that will just help to make that seal. And you'd be amazed what difference that can make. It's important when checking doors and windows that any part that opens has a good seal around it. This one here has a nice rubber strip that causes it to have an airtight break. But if you've got one that doesn't, it's a really easy fix. There's simply a foam strip that you can stick around the edge that will prevent any air movement. For front doors like this, it's a good idea to have a good seal the whole way around like this one does. That goes all the way around the door. Not only is that an air break to stop any air flowing in and out, but it also acts as an acoustic break to make sure that no noise you don't want to hear is coming through. Those are a few tips to make sure your house was nice and airtight to keep the elements where they should be, outside.